Hey guys, so th so this was meant to come out at some point er earlier. I'm not sure when you guys are going to be getting this. I was busy. Either Whitney's already out or she's coming out tonight. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get this up. But if you've seen this before, pat, pat myself on the back. I, I did this quick enough. But so Whitney and Swastbuck doing another should you summon kit deep dive like how worth it are they now standing for the emperor's video same conditions apply where we have both frogs and we have the second anniversary master fairs rerunning at the end of this month into and throughout january so keep that in mind with all of this if this is something you need or if the others are stuff that you want more keep in mind this game is all who do you want Go for it. Meta does not matter as much as people like to think. Now, some are still going to like, oh shit, I should get them. But you don't have to. Anyway, so Whitney and Swastbuck, tech pair, normal type. We don't get many normal type pairs. Now, there is no other thing here where, where either go like two sets of skills or two sets of moves or whatever. This is, this is just Winter Swastbuck. Now, to go over... Okay, I should go over this later. Okay. So, I'm going to go over this first. This will make more sense later. So, headbutt. You guys know I like Flint stuff. That's, pre that's pretty nice. M move gauge boosts. Eh, you're not really going to use it for what it's meant to be used for. Charging move gauge. Horn leech. So, she has some form of sustainability. Fun times. Okay. Applies critical defense to the outfield field of play. Move get acceleration. And uh, this is where shit breaks off. So, gr so grassy terrain. When you have two move gauge boosts left. Psychic terrain when you have one. And electric when you have zero. Now, initially, I think I shit on this character a little bit too much. Because admittingly enough, this is strong. Three... Terrains you can have. This is our second grassy terrain user. Our fourth or fifth electric terrain user. And our third psychic terrain user. Technically fourth, I guess, because of max psychic. But that's... But t technicalities, I guess. Whatever. Our second grassy terrain user is what I really want to focus on here. We don't know when Selby is coming back. So this is like next best case scenario. If you're missing Grassy Terrain, if you missed it, Grassy Terrain is the easiest one to use with this because it's two move gauge boosts left. So you won't have any. So you won't have to use move gauge boosts at all. So she's just a free Grassy Terrain user. If that sounds appealing to you, I would consider going for this. Now she doesn't have a guaranteed flinch like Selby does, but she does have a form of flinching, which will help. She has, she has aggravation at 3 out of 5, unfortunately, if you wanted to make that as high as possible. But she can flinch like Celebi. Just not all the extra spicy effects. Because she doesn't actually support like Celebi. Celebi, Celebi can max off crit rate and top off ally offenses and give physical move next. Swastbuck can't do that. Swastbuck only is terrain, flinch, and healing. Celebi... Can so we can actually support. So keep that in mind. But to then, but to then the sync, um, attack powers while terrain is in effect. So that's a fifty percent increase. Now going over the grid, I'm gonna go over this little by little. There's some strong stuff here, but but what I consider it worth it, that's debatable. Move get dupes NPR. This you literally don't need because if you let's say you try, you know, let's say you're trying to get psychic terrain. You use move, use, use move gauge boost up, refresh. All right, I'll use it again. Move gauge boost up, refresh. Firstly, I want to see it. I think it'd be very funny. But no, don't get move gauge boost. Even if you can get this full grid, don't get move, get move gauge boost. It's so useless here. Two out of five, we get some terrain stuff. We get mad strength so she can, she can buff her own attack. F uh, flabbergast so she can confuse. Terrain recovery and all the other terrain stuff. We we get his pepper. I can get buff speed, 
while you're trying to get for said terrain, which isn't bad, and and move getting sergeant scales off of it. So that's once again not the worst in the world. Now for three out of five, we have her modifiers. This is where this is where you should really get a support ex for her. No, not support ex. This is when you should ex her period, all because of. Uh, all because she she typically can't be buffed in, in a traditional sense, and uh, and this is only fifty percent. So she so she can't get another she can't get another modifier. So sync burst sync burst is typically good, but but for this you don't really need it. Team chart slow mo hundred 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 percent chance of lowering the speed of all opposing sync pairs when an attack move is successful in electric terrain. So you attack one enemy. Everyone's speed drops. There are not that many speed debuffers in the game, or ones that can do it effectively enough to, to the degree of Urshifu. But since this is AoE, this is pretty nice. Terrain sync up, powers up using move when terrain's in effect. This is a 90% modifier. This this is meant to rival things like inertia, for example. Sharp entry can start with plus one crit rate. Uh, powers up use moves when grit and terrain is grassy. This is good for a horn leech. With Horn Leech, this will hit pretty hard because this this would also get the fifty percent from Grassy Terrain, so that heal. Now, unfortunately, I don't see any Horn Leech Master here, which would have been great. Uh, in Interference Sync, Flinch Trap, or Confuse that is meant to go with Headbutt and Flabbergast. So Flabbergast and Interference Sync kind of go hand in hand, unfortunately. But to then Mind Boggler. 100% chance of lowering the, the opponent's special defense when using a move against it where it's trapped, confused, flinched, whatever. So Flabbergast and these two go hand in hand. Now let's go over the passives. This is where this is where it feels like I'm reading a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, Verdant Defense Drain, Team Weird Special Defense Drain, Team Charged Speed Drain. While that terrain is in effect. So it's like slow-mo. Except you're draining it. It's like Keldeo. Except this is one at a time. So they made... They made a more buff-orientated Keldeo. Or... It, I don't want to use the word support because she doesn't really support. All that she does is terrain as the support there's no other way to word it but they split keldeo's armor leeches and put them a lot them behind a terrain and, and they made it for everyone now well, if she could do this for an offense that would be amazing not even gonna lie to you but free speed is pretty nice From only one terrain. Uh, defense and special defense is fine as well. If you have someone who lowers their own defenses. Like. No you have ultimate work as, a, as an example here. But I think you get the point. Uh, if she drains special attack. That would be very good with, with leaf storm users. If you wanted to use critical strike 2 instead of dauntless. Just as an idea. But overall. I think this pair is only alright. Uh. But, but the triple terrain is easily the most valuable thing about her. Do I think she's worth it? No. But if you're missing uh, Celebi, I would consider it. Consider it. And yeah, that is going to be it with, it with this video. Remember what that stake here. Remember what you have, don't have. Come to your own, own conclusion. This is only to help you realize what this pair can actually do. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.